Hello, today we're taking a look at Battle of the Bulge. Ooh, it's a it's a, a grand strategy game. I don't know if it's actually a grand strategy game. It's a strategy game nonetheless. Turn-based. It is set in World War II at the Battle of the Bulge, the Great Battle. Between the Axis and the Allies, which was most battles in World War II, so long as you weren't like in the Pacific or anything, then it's a bit different. But anyway, we're gonna get straight into it. I've already played the tutorial, which was boring and uninteresting, so believe me, it's you're not missing anything. I'll explain as we go. Don't worry. What we are going to do is play Race to the Muse, which is a river, that thing. Muse? Muse? Muse. I'm gonna go with Muse, and we're just gonna go with it. Don't care. The thing is, the Axis has three days to reach that river. We're, of course, not going to be the Axis, because they're disgusting, bloody little evil creatures. Instead, we shall play as the allies. The opponent personality is pretty much what kind of AI we're going to fight. I don't care. I'm just gonna have, what, Von Runstedt? Von Runstedt is probably his actual name. You know, I'm... If you actually want to pronounce it properly. Okay, we're just gonna get right into it. Whatever! German pronunciation and all that. I, I don't know German. Okay. So, basically what happens is... First off, wow, we're getting right into it. So, the Axis are moving first. What they do... Thank you, combat. It pauses the game for a moment. So, what you do is each turn, you move units in one of the tiles. And you get to move all of your units. Infantry can move one space. Panzer... Um, tanks can move two spaces, if along roads. Um, when they hit enemy units, they do combat like this. Um, in which they fire for each of these little slot things is a power point, something along those lines. It's both their hit points and their attack. So these guys, since it was two people who had four points each, got to fire eight times upon our pathetic little disgusting allied unit who had literally one point of health and could fire once, so he didn't really stand a chance at all. He was ground to a pathetic pulp by the Axis. Which is unfortunate, but you know, somebody has to die in war. It's important. It happens. So that's mostly what goes on. Um, the Axis in this mission get three free turns from the beginning, so, you know, it's not going to be great for us, but we're going to try our best to survive against them and not let them get to the stupid Muse River, which I'll show you on our turn. Anyway, okay, you understand? You don't understand? That's okay, don't worry about it. They're going to move next. So, turns pass at the end of a turn, the uh, time passes. Battle commences from 0600 to 1800 sharp. At that, at 1800, the uh, game, the... Duh. The day ends in the game, and you get all sorts of crazy stuff happens, and you get to see things. Anyway, we're just going to continue. Let's see where they're going to move next. They are attacking our pathetic little uh, infantry carrier thing with their many infantry, and it wasn't even a battle. Why would you do that? They didn't deserve that. Let's see what they do next, because they're pricks! Sticking Axis pricks, killing our tiny little infantry. Who do you think you are? Well, I think they think that they're pretty impressive. Which is fairly accurate. So they just killed us. That's unfortunate. Okay, now it's our turn. We shall bring it back. Daily briefing for 16th of December, 1944. You must keep one of the enemy units away from the Muse River and hold Bastogne for three days. So we lose if the Axis gets to this river adjacent to it and can hold it at the end of the three days. But it's a draw if the Axis holds Bastogne here. It's right here. So let's get into it. Okay, this is Bastogne. If the Axis get here, it is a draw, which isn't bad. I would prefer a draw over losing. And then we've got the Muse River here, which we must prevent the Axis from getting to. 
We have at our disposal many units. Look at them all. We got some infantry here. We got some elite infantry. You can tell by this little icon here that it is elite infantry. Anyway, we can't move them. Let's see. So, part of this mission is that for our first turn, I believe, uh, we cannot move our infantry because it was a surprise attack, which is unfortunate, but it happens and we have to deal with it. So how shall we deal with it, one asks. I am thinking we surrender Buford to the enemies and attempt to uh, compile our forces within Lelange. Yep, yep, Lelange. I like saying that. Let's go to Bastogne. Away, Mr. Tanks. I assume, I assume they're Shermans or something like that. I don't really know what they are. Never asked them. I should probably ask them because we are, of course, uh, the commander. But anyway, so we moved our one uh, tile of units. If we had, say, activated this and that infantry could actually move, we would be able to move both of these people. But, unfortunately, we have only been able to move one. So let's commit and see what the Axis decides to do. 30 minutes have passed. One tank has moved. How dare you? Oh, I thought they were going to attack the launch. Oh, they are going to attack the launch. Okay. Fair dues, Axis. I see what you're doing. You have killed our poor tank. Effectively. Very good. Very good. You pricks! I liked that tank. That was my favorite tank in the army. Mm. Well, they are making a strong push to Bastogne, which is not good for us because that could end in our death. Hmm. How should we proceed? I highly doubt that our tank here will be able to hold off this massive group of infantry, which are at this point pretty much just standing there being like, Tank, you gonna die! And the tank's like, yeah, probably. So, probably our best move at this point would be to pull the tank back. The infantry can only move one tile forward, so we don't have to move it that far back. Let's move it back to here. In this way, it shall not die this turn. Hopefully. And it can be used to defend the Muse if things go terribly wrong. Which, they're most likely going to go terribly wrong. This is not going to be good for us. I feel like I probably should have considered that uh, playing the allies on this is the harder of the two options. But, uh, you got to go with it. Zero minutes passed. We are responding quite quickly to the enemy units. Let's see. So, all we seem to have left to move at this point is one single infantry carrier. Now we could hold and try to protect our, our nice little infantry right here, our elite infantry. But I feel like the amount of panzers and infantry they have is disgustingly larger than what we have. Which is pathetic, we have one unit of stinking second infantry. Look at them, they've only got four points. What are they going to do about that? What? What is that, a seven point friggin' panzer? They're not going to do anything! Come on, people. Come on! We have five points against like 20,000. Nah, we're not gonna hold it. I just considered that maybe we should hold it. I don't know. Death charge? Are we gonna do death charge? No, we're gonna pull back. Good luck, infantry. We're going to save ourselves. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, Lord. Okay, the axes are moving. Where are you going to move to? Oh. They are pushing quite hard forwards. I see. Zero minutes have passed, and it is our turn we must activate something I mean we don't really can't move these guys we could initiate combat here which would be hilarious as it appears that we will most likely die we can't do that we have but one option people you have to believe us we have only one option we must pass haha <laughs> take this Germans we're not even going to do anything I guess I'm going to commit to it. <laughs> the Germans are like, what's going on? He didn't do anything. To which I say, nope, I didn't do a single thing. Eat it, Axis! But don't actually eat it, because that would be strange. Yeah, nope, that is going to be a... Uh, 
That's gonna be our infantry gone there. Um, good luck, infantry. Maybe you'll survive. The chances of that are very slim, though. Oh, you've taken one hit. Oh. Wow. He retreated. That means he's still alive. He's injured, but he's still alive. And that's good, because I thought he was going to completely die, which would have been bad. Very bad indeed. Um, can't really do anything else, can we? We may not move that unit. All the units that we can move are immobilized at the moment. Now, let's look at the calendar. This shows what will happen each day. Today is the 16th. Axis surprise attack and allied infantry paralysis, which is unfortunate. But tomorrow we shall get three units. We shall get two armored units, which will be nice, and one infantry unit. These guys are coming in out of Vervieres. And these guys are coming in out of Arlon. So let's see where that is. There's Vervieres. Where the brunt of our reinforcements will come in. And then... Some place called Malon or something along those lines. I don't even know. Doesn't matter. Does it matter? It does matter. It matters quite a bit. Where are they coming in at? I don't know. I can't see the name. Maybe it was Namur. They'll come in here. I don't know. Okay, that's where they're coming. Anyway... I've just gone on and on about that. Um, we're just going to commit to a pause and hope that our reinforcements shall do their work. Hello, Axis. Hello. How are you doing? I think they're doing quite well. Um, yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. We're just gonna have to wait it out. Hold your helmets, people! If you don't hold your helmets, then the first explosion's going to knock it off your head. And once that helmet is off your head, you're not exactly going to survive particularly long because you're... I mean, you won't have a helmet. Anything that hits you in the head is going to kill you dead, and that will be bad. It also rhymes, which is unfortunate because it makes it sound slightly good. Do you want to make a death stand? You know... Just, just do it. Just stand your ground, mate. Stand your ground and attempt to kill the opponent. He's gonna die. I'm just saying, he's gonna die. It's not even a question. Well, well, nothing happened. Literally nothing happened. They just shot at each other. My infantry hit the trees a bit. But we're not trying to kill the trees, infantry. We're actually trying to kill the enemies behind the trees. Luckily, the enemies behind the trees also completely missed us, which is a good thing. I mean, I'd prefer to be missed rather than hit by the hail of bullets that is coming over our heads. I assume it's coming over their heads. I mean, I can't actually verify that. I wasn't there. I can note this immediately. I was not in that situation. It's our turn again. How many times do I have to tell you that I, I don't have anything to do? Okay, that is the end of the first day. Very good. Let us see what we've got. Okay. The enemy is moving into Baston with large amounts of units. I believe that we um, are most likely dead in this situation. Oh! I take it back, we are not dead. That is duly noted, we are still alive. Okay, here's our daily briefing. We have been reinforced with three units. The 1st Infantry Division has been moved to Verniers. So has the 7th Armored Division. Um, the 10th Armored Division has been sent down here to Arlon. That was what it was. Ha, ah, Arlon. Okay. So, I don't know what we're gonna do, mates. We can see in a grand scheme of things they are moving forward quite quickly. Uh, we've got six Axis units bearing down on Yupen, which will most likely lead to the death of everyone there. Perhaps we can pull back and attempt to save our skins? Well, I don't know. Sounds like a decent idea. Or we could do something else. I have an idea. I have an idea. So, one thing to be noted about this, the Axis does have what is called artillery. I don't particularly like artillery. So the Axis is firing 
artillery into this area, which means that when they attack, they get bonus to attacks in this area. Which, by the way, does not include you, Pen, which is brilliant, because that is where we are going to hold our ground, in theory. We're going to try to hold our ground, excuse me. So, now what are we going to do? Hmm. What I'm thinking is we... I don't really care if they take Bastogne. I'm just gonna say it right there. If we get a draw, I mean, that's better than losing. Although, the moment they break there, they're going to be able to move deeper in. That would be terrible. That would be ter- I don't think they can get to Muse in that time, though. I don't know. Okay, we're just not going to deal with Baston. Baston, sit back. Don't even worry about it. What we're going to do is pull the 2nd Infantry Division back into Yupen to make a an amazing final defense of Yupen. Upen? Yupen? I don't know what it's called. Anyway, that's where they're going. And he's gone to spa. That is not acceptable. Mate, you cannot do that. First infantry and seventh armored division. Move in and make him pay. You think yourself so incredible. Prepare to die! The first SS Panzer Division is fighting on infantry. A whole lot of nothing was done to the SS Panzer Division. We took a bit of hits. What are you doing, soldiers? Think about what you're doing. That's an idiotic move. You can't not hit him. That means that we're going to lose. That's never a good thing. You don't want to lose, do you? I hope you don't want to lose. If you do want to lose, you're crazy. Well, I think our little tank is going to die here. Good on you, mate. You held quite a while. Unfortunately, you are now dead, and we can't fix that. Okay, it is an allied turn. What shall we do? The enemy is at our... <coughs> Excuse me. The enemy is at our borders. Well, they've been at our borders the entire time. So our particular goal is to somehow just delay them. That's all we want to do, delay them. How can we delay them? Okay, let's move this guy out to Recogne. So when units are moving through their own territory and their territory is not occupied by enemies at any point, they can move three spaces, just saying. So along a road, which is technical shizwiz. Anyway, we are now in Recogne, and we will try to move all the way up to this defensive line to hold position. In the meantime, we shall see what the Germans do in an attempt to defeat us. What are you going to do, Germans? I'm watching you. Oh, you're going to fight our tiny little infantry with your large little infantry? Does that make you feel good, Germans? It's compensation! I'm telling you it's nothing but compensation. They're just trying to kill our unit for the sake of killing it. You're not going to get anywhere by doing that, Germans. Nothing at all. Oh my lord, I just bumped the microphone like nobody's business. I was too excited, people. I became incredibly ecstatic about the situation. Okay, let's see. Let us move. What does that look like? No. No. Okay. No. We cannot move our unit there. That will be the death of our poor unit. Okay. So, we're going to need to move this unit. I'm not particularly concerned about these German units moving in here. That doesn't seem terrible. Let's look at what the reinforcements are for tomorrow. I know we're getting reinforcements. Let's see what they are. We have Vivier has the 9th Infantry Division, Liège has the 30th Infantry Division, and Fosse has the 101st and 82nd Infantry Division. I like it. Where is Fosse? Tell me where Fosse is. Please! I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's here. There we go. Fosse is here. This is where a couple of units will come in. And then Liège and Vivier. I see, I see. Well, let us move to Offet and position ourselves there to await reinforcements. 
because that is about all that we can do right now, or we're going to die. Well, we're probably going to die anyway, but it's worth a try to defend our land just a little bit. Okay. They are holding their own. 90 minutes have passed as those tanks moved along their way. What shall we do now? People, run for your lives, you fools. Why would you not attempt to run for your lives? You are absolutely surrounded by Germans and you're going to be killed at any moment. Just, just go for it. Just <laughs> book it, people. Okay, what's going on here? They're getting a small infantry division moving up to Vielsham. I'm probably butchering literally every single one of these names, which is unfortunate on one hand. On the other hand, I don't really care all that much. So, I still want to hold this position. I like this position. It is my position, and you shall not have it, Germans. You are going to have to come and try to take it from me. Pass. Go ahead, Germans. Do it! Come out here and do it! They're not going to do it, are they? I, I saw them thinking about it. I could feel it. They were thinking about it, but they decided in the end that it was probably for the best to not do it. Yeah, I don't want to move anyone else. This is an optional pass. I have chosen this myself. I have not been forced by infantry paralysis, which is an unfortunate and serious condition in warfare. They are going to have to come and take this land from me if they want to take it from me. Apparently, they don't want to take it from me. I see how it is. You're cowards. I get it. I know, I understand. You don't have to explain any farther, Germans. You are pathetic cowards. Let's see what we got. We have gotten our reinforcements in, which is what we expect. Oh my lord, that's going to hurt quite a bit. <laughs> Better die, panzers! Well, I don't think the Panthers are going to die, quite frankly. But I don't think we're going to die either. It is a stalemate. We appear to have done more damage, but they still have significantly more health. Luckily, I do believe that this is the third day. Let's see. You lose if the Allies... If the Axis units ends adjacent to the Muse and can trace a path of friendly spaces from the east to the west of the map at... 1800, 18th of December. Understood. Understood. Okay, where can we move these guys? So, the main concern right now is that Panzer Division. Because that guy can get in real close. So we're going to pull up these two infantry divisions of immense proportion. Whoever these guys are, Mr. Eagles, both of them are going to move to... Hui? Here? He? Uh, I don't know how to say that. Anyway, they're going to move up to here. Hui? I'm going to go with Hui. I like it. It's cool. Okay, you're positioning yourselves at Hui, and you will hold position and prevent any... Ah, uh, sorry. You will prevent any potential German interference into this area. And I will try not to trip over my words in a disgusting manner. That was just putridly terrible. I mean, you would think that I could speak, but I can't speak, people. I literally cannot say words. It's unfortunate, but we have to deal with this fact. Oh, the Germans have surrendered Bastogne. Perhaps we should can win. Blah. Perhaps we can win this in the end. You know when I said I wasn't going to trip over my words? I was lying. Ha! Ha! No, don't move there. What do you want about? Don't do that. I want these guys. I have no clue what that symbol is, but we are moving up to Ofet to defend against the German armor. There. I think we've won, actually. Quite frankly. No. Move. Stay there. Infantry, I know that you are concerned about the fact that you are going to have to fight a bunch of panzer tanks that are probably significantly more powerful than you and will probably kill you dead. But you need to sacrifice yourselves in the name of allied victory. I'm not certain that the Axis can actually make it to the river at this point. 
that would mean that we have done a decent job of holding the line. Oh, look who is now in Bastogne. That is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate, friends. Apparently, it will be a draw. Well, I can accept a draw. Can we accept a draw? I don't think we can accept a draw. I don't want to accept a draw. 10th Armored Division. Go teach them a lesson. You would better get that Panzer Division out of there. Oh, I don't think they're gonna get that Panzer Division out of there. Well, if you can't get them out of there, just, uh, you know. DEATH CHARGE! You shall die in the face of me! Well, you did some damage, that's okay. The Axis, though, totally holds Bastogne. We should have gone in and taken Bastogne when we had the chance. That was a really idiotic move to not take Bastogne when we had the chance. You Axis are pathetic. Our infantry literally can't fire because they are surrounded. And you've just shot a bunch of trees and didn't even kill my infantry. You are amazing, infantry. Good job. You've done your job brilliantly. Okay. Do we want to fire on these guys? I don't think we want to fire on these guys. No, we're not. We're not likely to do well firing on those guys. What if we move in here and then attempt to fire on these guys? Well, if you look at the uh, statistics, we've got seven infantry and three tanks. They've got ten tanks, and if you look at the likely hits taken, we're going to lose terribly! Oh, God. Okay, that's not happening. Stay back! Stay back! There's no need to panic. We are here to protect you. Everyone. Okay. Where shall we move? Shall we pull U Pen backwards? I don't know if we should pull U Pen backwards. I think U Pen should remain where it is. You go hold Staumont to create a solid line right along here where no one can possibly stop us. You shall die, all of you Germans. Die, die, die. We're going to put a bullet in every single one of your heads. If you don't have a head, then I don't know. I'm gonna put the bullet like in your arm. That's good enough, right? I mean, that's, that's close enough to like a kill shot. Yeah, I'm good with it. Okay. He has moved to Viasalm. Viasalm. Uh, wrong order of the letters there. And we have moved to Matelange. And from there, we shall pretty much do nothing. Set up camp, boys. You're not going anywhere. You're not doing anything. You are worthless to the allied cause. You should go throw yourselves off the edge of a cliff, but don't do that because we still need you because you aren't worthless. Please, I was overreacting to the situation. You don't need to throw yourselves off of cliffs. Jeez. Seems like secondary that people wouldn't throw themselves off of cliffs. Okay. Meh. Or perhaps we should pull back to Vivier. You see, what I'm seeing here, although really in reality we've won, and at the end of 1800 hours today, which if we look at the clock, it's 1500 on the 18th of December, 1944. But regardless of that, I think we need to pull back to Vivier. Just so that these panzers cannot move into Vivier and thereby destroy our very nice line. Which are. No, no get in there. You are not allowed to retreat under any circumstances you are to die where you stand holding your rifle so that historians in the future can one day perhaps find you um, buried under like a farmhouse or something and they will find you clutching your rifle and they'll be like oh this is a relic from world war ii look at it it's amazing look at it it's so good we just dug it up from underneath the farmhouse. Everybody come to look at it. We're gonna make a make, make an entire museum just over top of this one guy who died holding his rifle. He's gonna be called the Rifleman and he's gonna be the most amazing person ever. I don't care about the Rifleman. He doesn't matter. Jeez. What did he do? He held the line when we'd already won. He could have just walked away and we still would have won the battle, but he decided he had to be gung-ho and just stand there and be a little prick like that. Anyway, he now has a museum, so who cares? I can't argue with a museum. Eat it! Oh, oh yeah, no, sorry. I can't say eat it. They can't eat it because, of course, um, it's a draw. 
Armor diverts to secure Bastone Crossroads. That's good enough. That is good enough. Well, friends, we have held the line at the Battle of the Bulge. We have not let them get to the Meuse River. And we have killed many Germans in the process, although I think, quite frankly, quite a few more allies were killed because it was a terrible surprise attack and it was unfortunate, but the best thing has come out of this, that being Rifleman. I personally don't care about Rifleman, but the rest of the country apparently cares so much about Rifleman that they made an, a museum and they're now literally working right now to elect him as Prime Minister of our fair country. So, unfortunately, mm, he's, he's winning out in this situation. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. This is Battle of the Bulge, a very interesting strategy turn-based game. It has been very difficult as I've played it so far. I mean, I've played one campaign before this. I played Axis on this one. I know, shoot me people, but don't actually because that you might actually shoot me for playing Axis and that would be unfortunate. I don't want to be shot. Please don't shoot me. Anyway, I didn't win that one either. I actually completely lost. I didn't even take Bastogne. So they actually did better than I did when I was Germans, which is unfortunate because that's really sad. Anyway, yeah, I've enjoyed it probably going to continue to play it and most likely going to continue to enjoy it so there you go that's how I feel about the Battle of the Bulge so thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day